Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Codictate. If you are new to my YouTube channel, then let me tell you that I have started a full stack web development course. So today is going to be our first video. But before I start the video, I want to tell you something. Since I'm a software engineer, I have to do uh, my job work also. And if you are making an education related videos, then you have to do a lot of content research, create video, edit video. And because of this, it takes me some time. So I will upload one video every week. So let's start. Before understanding web, we should understand the internet because web is the part of internet. So let's try to understand what is internet. Internet is a network of networks. And what is network? Network is a group of connected devices like computers, phones or servers that communicate and share information. Just like we can send messages, we can do video calls like that. So internet is a network of networks where many smaller networks are connected, built to share data, information resources, accessible through devices like smartphone, computer, smart TVs, and we can use connections like Wi-Fi, mobile data, or wired cable like Ethernet cable. Now let's try to understand how does the internet work. So first of all, we need to connect our device, whatever we device like mobile phone or computer. We need to connect our device to Internet. And how can we do this? We can use ISP, which is Internet Service Provider. ISP is a company that provides access to the Internet, just like Airtel, Geo and many more. Now you have a question like how will you identify these devices in such a large network? So these devices are assigned a unique address called an IP address that help them identify and communicate with each other. So how can we use internet in our daily life? So we can use uh, in browsing website, communication like email, video calls, entertainment, education, social media. Now let's try to understand what is web and www. But before understanding web, let's try to understand how web was created. So the history of web is the story of how the www was created and involved into what we use today. So how did it all started? In 1989, the idea was introduced by the scientist named Tim Berners-Lee. He worked at CERN, a research center in Switzerland. He wanted a way for researchers to share information easily. That's why he proposed an idea called www. In 1990, the first web pages was created by Tim Berners-Lee and he also invented HTML which is useful for creating web pages, HTTP which is a protocol to transfer data, URL which is useful to address to locate web pages. In 1991, the web goes public. The first website went live explaining what the web was and how to use it. At this stage, the web was mainly used by scientists and researchers. First website is still live. So if you want to check out the website, then check my description box. I will give you the link of first website link. In 1993, first web browser was created. Name is Mosaic. And making it easy for people to view website with text and images. This made the web more user friendly and popular. In 1994, there is the rise of website. In 1995, there is a like Amazon, eBay. In 1998, search engine was created, which is Google. Means Google was introduced in 1998. In 2000s, the web become interactive, like social media, vlogs, and videos. Uh, here, platform like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter was created. In 2010, Smartphone made the web more accessible. People started using apps like shopping, streaming, and social networking. And today, web is faster, more secure, has a billions of websites, and we can use technologies like AI and cloud computing. Now, let's try to understand what is web and www. www is a worldwide web, which is a collection of websites and web pages. Website is a collection of web pages and web pages is a single page of information. You can consider website as a book with many chapter and web pages as a one chapter of book. 
so that you can access using the internet so web is a part of internet while the internet is a network of computer the web is information you can see and interact with on those computers so you have a question where is this website stored so websites are stored on a special computer called servers and you can access them through browser like chrome firefox safari and many more so actually we can host our website in server and that's how server stored the website now let's try to understand how we can access web to visit a web you can type its address into a browser and the browser uses the internet to send a request to the server where the website is stored the server sends back the requested web pages and it appear on your screen so now let's try to understand key component of web so web component is web browser web browser is actually a software just like chrome firefox safari and many more that lets you view web pages it process and display html css and javascript what is html what is css what is javascript html stands for hypertext markup language which is useful for creating website layout css stands for cascading style sheet which is useful for styling web pages JavaScript is useful for creating logics and perform a lot of logics. So second component is web server, a computer that stores website and sends them to user when required. Third component is HTTP and HTTPS. These are the rules of data transfer between browser and server and HTTPS is a secure version that encrypt data for safety fourth component is html css javascript which i already told you so fifth component is dns which is domain name system sixth component is ip address which is a unique address that identify a device i told i tell you how web work and web is actually work in the form of client server architecture where client request for any web pages and server respond with answer so let's try to understand how the web work when you open a website such as typing www.google.com in your browser several process happens behind the scene so first of all we can enter url url is the address of website when you type url your browser it starts working to find the location of website then dns dns web web uses dns which is useful for translate the url into an ip address url um, is actually a ip address but because we can understand easily that's why we can use dns which convert ip address into user understanding format just like www.google.com is converted to something like this this is the ip address of google but for the convenient purpose we can use www.google.com these ip address help locate the server where the website is stored after this browser sends a request your browser sends a request to a server using http and https protocol these are the rules that allow your browser and server to communicate after this server respond back the server where our website is stored receive the request and proceed it it sends back the request data like web pages html code images and videos after this browser display our website so that's how we can search website and we can actually host our website in server so that we can get the data we can understand later how can we host and learn everything so now let's set up the code editor and i'll use vs code so go on any uh, browser and type vs code and download this software i already installed so that i just create new folder that's it and then i go on vs code and 
this is just open but if you want to open a folder then just click on this and open folder that's it now uh, we can install some extensions like here you can install live server it is actually useful whenever you want to live your website if you want to uh, live your website in local server okay and we just create new file which is index.html and let's try to make our first website so are you excited so let's try to write a basic layout of any website actually html works on tag and we can understand what is tag so first of all let's try to type doc type and this tells the browser it's an html document that's why we have to declare this tag after this we need to clear html tag this is actually a root tag for the entire website okay after this inside the html tag we can write head tag and head tag is actually contains information about the website just like if you want to make title then you can write here title so in title tag you can type anything like web d okay after this inside the html tag you can also write body tag and body tag is actually contains everything visible on the web pages so let's suppose we can write h1 tag h1 tag is heading tag and if we can write hello world and save it and just click on this go live button and see this is our first website and this is actually our title see this is our title and hello world so i hope you can understand every tag so html is work on tags document tag represent the uh, browser the, um, like this is the html document html tag is a root tag inside the html we can write head tag and body tag whatever we can write inside the body tag is visible in our web pages and h1 is our heading tag we can learn lot of tags later on suppose that if if we want to make our page red then we just go here and uh, and make a style tag and inside this we can write body and background color is red and where is the website okay so the, the background color is become red so i hope you can understand how it works and this is actually a first video so don't be confused we can learn everything slowly slowly so this is just a basic layout of our first website and congratulations you can create your first website so that's all for today See you in next video and if you have any suggestion on how can I improve the video further then please tell me in comment section. Okay, bye bye. Take care.